Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from a very dreary Menasha, Wisconsin. I don't think it rained today, but it's pretty overcast and cloudy, kind of like everybody's mood. But it's about to get better, believe me. Hi Rhonda, you're the first one in here. I'm going to get my computer on our page so I can see your comments when I turn this around and we get some stamping done. Hi Jay, Kelly's here, welcome. Happy to see you guys. How's everybody's day going? Were you making any cards today? If you weren't making cards, were you crafting? Hi Jacqueline, Rachel. I want to know. Oh, there I come. I found me. I hope I have my mute on. Let me make sure. Nope, I do. Okay, we don't want to hear two Kelly's, right? Uh, that would be way too much crazy town. Okay, I got myself set up there. Hi Lisa, Jennifer, Gilmore, welcome. Happy to see you guys popping in here. So I had a pretty quiet day today. I um, had to get up early. <sighs> yeah, that's always a problem. Um, but I have a conference call every Monday morning at 8 a.m. So I set my alarm for 7.45 and I come bumbling down the stairs. I was actually um, planned on going to bed a little, like early for me would be like midnight. I was planning on going to bed early and I thought, no, I just got to get these last few things done. I had to get all the prizes ready to go in the mail and out for the mailman because sometimes he comes before I get up. <laughs> And I had to get all this stuff done last night, and I didn't get to bed till 2.30. And that's when Steve got up. And I'm like, what are you doing? Are you getting up? He's like, yup. Because sometimes he can't sleep at night. I never have that problem. <laughs> Charlene just finished working. We've got Sharon here and Jean from Oklahoma. She made cards last night. Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? And Gilmore. Hi, Gilmore's eight-year-old. We've got two watching. Peggy just popped in. Sandy Marie. Jay is here. She didn't get any cards done, but she got 20 in the mail with handwritten notes. Good for you. Hi, Nancy. Kathy, Mary, Beth, welcome. So, yeah, I um, did my conference call till 10 a.m. Then I had a second conference call trying to work out with my um, partners in crime all the details for our next online class. We're going to be using the Ornate Garden suite of products. Let me find it here. For our next online class. So that's going to be really fun. Gosh, I got so many flyers going on. This one. You guys have seen this. Oh, so beautiful. Haley and I have both been creating with it. And it's just so, so pretty. The paper is beautiful. Um, I have my Stamping Society blog hop on April 1st. We're going to be using this suite of products. And also, there's going to be an exclusive tutorial that you can buy for $7. Or when you place an order with me, you get it for free. And I think there's at least six different private tutorials, private projects with video tutorials to go with them. So it's pretty cool. Now, this suite of products will be available on April 1st for anyone to order. I won't have the, well, maybe I'll be able to get the details out for my online class so that you know what's going on and you'll have the opportunity to order it through that. If you order the entire suite from me, you're going to get the pre-cut cardstock pack. You're going to get um, the tutorial, the online class for free. And I think we have another project sheet tutorial that we're going to include for the people that order the suite with like 18 to 20 different more ideas with this suite of products. So it's going to be huge. I know Stampin' Up! demonstrators all over the world are creating stuff with this right now. It's going to be a huge, huge um, suite for us. Like huge. We're going to make tons and tons of stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, oh, I'm getting kind of tongue tied. That doesn't happen too often. I, I was at a loss for words. <laughs> you guys know I don't have any problems with words usually, right? So anyways, um, that's going to be really fun. I got to play with it a little bit today and I made a really pretty card as part of the tutorial. I will also have a blog hop 
where I'll do a video tutorial. So I have to create some, create some projects with that for my blog hop on April 1st. Now, for those of you that may be new to me, um, my blog is www.astampabove.com. You can head over there and in the right hand column, there's a place where you can put your email address in and subscribe. When you subscribe to my blog, every time I add something new to it, it's going to come into your email inbox and that way you will not um, miss anything that I have coming out and you can look at it at your leisure whenever you feel like checking your emails, right? The other thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I have a few people who are ordering online classes from me and lots of times, sometimes there's a buy now button, but other times I have to invoice you through PayPal. And I have some people that aren't paying their invoices till after the due dates. Um, and I think it's because they're not checking their emails. So if I could ask you guys, when you happen to order an online class from me where I have to email you, if you could check your email every day or so, I usually get the, I usually check for those every day and send out the, the PayPal invoices. But I need those people to pay a little more prompt because I've already run my reports and I've got my numbers and then boom, here comes an old invoice that wasn't paid from a week and a half ago. So I would appreciate that. It just helps me out. Helps me keep track of all the things, right? And we know that I struggle. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Hi, Sharon. Carol's in here. Welcome. So tomorrow is the last day for so many things. Like so many things end tomorrow. First of all, our coordination product release from February 4th through March 31st. That's all these coordinating dies and the Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper. Now these dies are gone. The birthday, happy birthday to you dies are gone, but the rest of these dies are still available. That promotion ends tomorrow, March 31st. So I just wanna make sure everybody knows that. If you have not gotten something off of here, you may wanna do that before I would say I wouldn't wait until tomorrow. I'd do it today because what happens on the last day of celebration, tomorrow's the last day of that too, um, is our website tends to get overwhelmed because there's so many people trying to do last minute things that you could have a heck of a time getting your orders through. So whether you're a demonstrator on the demonstrator website or a customer in my online store, I highly recommend you do not wait until tomorrow to put those orders in because it probably will be a bear. And that's not, I'm not kidding. It gets really strenuous. I'll probably be answering emails and phone calls all day tomorrow <laughs> because it's the last day of celebration. That's a really big deal for us. But last day of celebration, we've got two brochures and a third release. First release, second release, third release. It is the last day for all of that. And that brings me to the biggest promotion of the year. The biggest promotion of 2020 is all of these goodies, okay? So tomorrow is the last day to join my team, whether you wanna build a business or be a discount shopper. It's completely up to you. I have had so many people joining my team lately. It makes my heart happy. I know you're going to love it. And getting a discount on your products is always a win-win, right? The mini trimmer comes with the discount shopper kit. Any stamp set of your choice gets added on to it as long as you can buy it. And I say that because you can't, you can't add celebration sets as your any stamp set or to your kit. Um, if you can buy it, you can get it free as your free stamp set. And also, this beautiful sampler pack of paper. This is almost all our designer paper from our spring mini catalog and our celebration brochure. You get all three of these things plus $125 a product that you get to choose. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is you can't go over $125 and pay the difference. The system won't let you do that. That's number one. And number two, it asks you if you have a, um, a workshop code or a host code or something like that. You do not have any codes. So don't worry about that. If you need additional information for this, on my blog in the right-hand column is a $99 kit. If you click on that button, it will 
and do question and answers. It answers almost every question you can possibly have on there. And there's also a video there that shows you or helps you order that kit. It's not hard, but sometimes you can get to something and go, hmm, I don't know what I should answer here. So first of all, you don't have a code. Secondly, um, it's going to prompt you for your free stamp set. And you want to make sure, I know this is backwards, it just says plus any stamp set of your choice. But you want, that's going to be asked first. They're going to ask you for this. Make sure this one's an expensive one because they're free. This is the free one. It doesn't get compiled into your $125 worth of product. With your starter kit, you're also going to get a pack of catalogs. Um, you're going to get a few business supplies in case you want to make a business out of it. You don't have to. Um, you're also going to get a paper pumpkin kit. Our starter kit is worth about $215, and you only pay $99 plus tax, and there's free shipping on it. So, I hate the email on April 1st that says, Hey, Kelly, I want to do that starter kit thing where I get that free trimmer. Can I still do that? Nope. Not on April 1st. March 31st, last day. Game over. <laughs> That's the way I like to put it. Game over, March 31st. So... Just wanted to let you know about that. What else is happening? We have a winner from our Facebook Live on Saturday. Now, my Sundays are my regular Facebook Lives, okay? I do one Facebook Live every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. But since, um, well, really, when the coronavirus thing started, and I'm calling it the CQ 2020, Corona Quarantine 2020, when that started, it was actually kind of the week of my 16th anniversary with Stampin' Up! So I decided to do a Facebook Live every single day um, for five days to celebrate my anniversary and give away stuff and have fun with you guys. And then when we got this kind of everybody stay home order and the social distancing and all of that started, I thought, you know what? I'll be doing a Facebook Live every day. We're going to get through this together. Well, I'm still doing that, and it is day 15 in a row for Facebook Lives, and I've been having a blast, and I've heard from so many of you, you are really enjoying it, so thank you. Um, I, I do appreciate that. But um, I'm going to continue to keep my Sunday night Facebook Lives separate from my daily Facebook Lives. So for our prize winner from Saturday, which was not a normal Facebook Live, I have Cindy Kittner from Newport, Pennsylvania. You are going to get a half a pack of this um, Honey Bee Specialty Designer Series paper. And I will be cutting this to six by six for shipping purposes. But I just wanted to tell you that you won and congratulations. And thank you so much for leaving comments on my Saturday Facebook Live. That's how she won. Um, you can also leave comments if you're watching later on YouTube because I load these up to my YouTube channel. I do take and put everybody's names in from YouTube and also from the Facebook, whether you're on now or later, okay? So if you're watching and it's not live anymore, you can still leave comments and I will enter you in the drawing to win. Oh, thank you. Marcia says you have been terrific and love seeing you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amy looks forward to my lives every day. I do too. It's been a lot of fun, I have to tell you. So today I got a package in the mail. I have to share it with you guys. It's kind of social hour, right? I mean, <laughs> that's what we're doing here. We're going to do some stamping, but um, we're catching up and chatting with each other, seeing how it's going, what's happening here. You guys tell me what's happening there. I got this box in the mail from my friend Terry. She, I met her online and she is the Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We're not like related. She's not on my team, but um, we met online and Terry is the one who invited me and my mom and my sister to stay at her retreat cabin in Minnesota when we were flying out of Minneapolis to go to Kansas to visit my aunt, if you were with me then. So this is that Terry. And Terry is so cute. I was just, this was just adorable. So first of all, I got this awesome, awesome card from Terry. Look at envelope flap is decorated. And this is just the neatest little card. Ready? The inside slides up and she's got some tea in there. Isn't that cute? So I'm thinking tomorrow we're going to make a card that will fit a pack of tea in here. 
that will slide up like that. You're gonna impress all your friends and you can send this to your friends with a pack of tea in it. Just kind of a little gift that costs next to nothing, but it packs a big punch because it's super thoughtful. So I think we're gonna make this tomorrow. I'm not gonna make any promises, but I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do. So Terry, thank you so much for that. And then, hang on. Terry, inside this box, Terry sent me this little package and she put on the back here a little note that says, cause you love them. And this is a white paper bag that she put a belly band around. She tied it with our scalloped tag punch, put a little label on the front that says, I am thankful for you. Isn't that cute? And then inside the bag, I was like, oh, I wonder what's in the little bag. Kit Kats, because she knows I love them. So Haley and I already ate one. Thank you very much. It was super duper sweet. I'm gonna put this back in here because it's so cute. This is just a neat little way to package up a little treat. Like, it's just the thought, right? It's the thought. Hi, Cindy, hi, Debbie. So I got that. And then she sent me some antibacterial cloths for cleaning from Norwex. Super nice, right? Guard it with your life, hand sanitizer. Thank you. Oh, Terry, you're on here. Good to see you. And then this is funny. This is the funny part. So remember when I was talking about going to my grandma's house on Sunday nights and how we always watch the Disney movie and she would do the Jiffy popcorn where you go like this on your stove and then it goes like that. And I thought it was hysterical that my grandma drank Dr. Pepper because my mom never drank soda. So she sent me popcorn and Dr. Pepper for my fond memories. And last but not least, sour patches because, and I quote Terry, I guess it goes with popcorn <laughs> because I like to eat sour patches with popcorn. I know I'm a little weird. This was just the sweetest little gift, Terry. Thank you so much. It made my day. My family got a big chuckle out of it. And I absolutely love the cards. So will be I'll be showing you guys how to do that insert that'll fit tea on the inside super cool if not tomorrow then soon we've got a lot of time to stamp right we've got a lot of days to stamp because this thing is not even close to being over now I wanted to share some more mail with you because I had some more mail come today that was super duper pretty I got a card from Heather Arnold look at this how cute this is this uses the Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper and the um, Thoughtful Blooms and the Small Bloom Punch. Uh, the paper you can buy until tomorrow is the last day for that Pleased as Punch paper, but this is part of Celebration. You can get that free with your order. And I'm going to open up the card here. Look at it was tied right here and then it opens up. And isn't that just precious? I absolutely love this. And... Um, Heather put a little note in here. Well, it wasn't that little. <laughs> it says, Kelly, thank you so much for your Facebook Lives this week. Your positivity brightened my day and made me forget for a, for a while the troubles of today. So needed that. Congratulations on your Stampin' Up! anniversary. You inspire me to do great things, including Facebook Lives. I am mustering up the courage to do so. Congratulations and God bless, Heather. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you're gonna give Facebook Lives a try because they're really easy. And actually, if I had to say, as a demonstrator, Facebook Lives are probably the easiest thing that I do in my business because it's all spontaneous. I don't get to edit it. Like I spend a lot of time editing my videos. I don't have to edit it. I don't have to do anything fancy. Um, Facebook lives are probably the easiest thing that I do. Not to say that they don't take time. They do, but I really, really like them. Like they're my thing. I think, I think I found my thing. <laughs> so I do love them. Um, I got another beautiful card here from Teresa Harper. Look at that with the timeless tulips bundle. Is that not beautiful? Oh, and Jay says Jiffy Popcorn was always a treat when they camped as kids. I know, because you can put it on the fire, right? It's pretty cool. I love the magic. the pop, And then you tear it open. and Oh, it's so cool. 
And this from Teresa says, thank you for inspiring us all daily. I know it's a lot of extra work to do a Facebook Live every day. You make me smile and I just wanted you to know how much you are appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. And then I have one more to share with you. And this is from my local stamping friend, Amy Meadowcroft. Amy has been stamping with me for a very, very long time. And she made this beautiful card. And isn't that wonderful? This is a double Dutch card. It opens up like this and then like this. Super sweet, right? And maybe I will show you guys how to make this fun fold. Because I know how much you love fun folds. And I do too. <laughs> and Amy says, here we go. Amy says, Kelly... Stay home, stay safe. Just wanted to say hi, and I miss Card Buffet so much. Thanks for all the videos. Hope to see you soon. Isn't that sweet? Okay. I really appreciate the mail. It's a lot of fun, and I can tell you how much joy it brings me to get mail. So please, please be making cards and sending them out to your friends and family, your neighbor down the street that maybe is pretty isolated right now without their kids or grandkids coming over. I mean, it's kind of a really lonely time for people that are used to being out and being very social butterflies, right? So um, be sending out those cards because it really does brighten somebody's day to know that someone's thinking about them and they cared enough to make them something. You like made this for me? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I can't wait to hear from my little munchkins. Uh, my nieces and nephew, I sent them those shaker cards that we made last week, the Dino Roar shaker cards. So I'm waiting to hear from them because I thought they'd get a big kick out of being able to shake them. Yeah. My nieces and nephews? Or your grandkids? No, my nieces and nephews. Haley's on the other side over here. Um, I sent yeah. one to Emma and one to Jasmine okay. and one to Tommy. So yeah, I'm waiting to hear back. They should get them. They should have got them today, but my mom probably didn't get the mail yet today because... They live out in the country, and that's not quite as easy to get the mail because you don't just, like, reach around your door or walk on your porch. It's over there across this road, and the whole you got the whole thing going on. So, anyways, we have the celebration ending tomorrow. We have the coordination um, product release ending tomorrow. Uh, the whole starter kit promotion is ending tomorrow. And it's the last day of the month. Lots of things going on. So make sure you know your deadlines. Hi, Bev. Hi, Kathy. Susan just popped in. All right, so I am going to show you how to make Wendy Sue's beautiful easel card. I had so many people ask me questions about it that I thought it would be a great idea for me to just show you guys how to make it because easel cards are super duper easy. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna flip the camera around and um, Haley, do you have a scrapbook page done that you can hold up and show everybody? Okay, so it's not completely done. I have to do my on my, oh, my title. You don't have a different one done? Uh -huh. Okay, all right. This is okay, so forever. You don't you don't have to show it yet. Let's wait until it's done. Okay. So Haley's been scrapbooking today. She is making a scrapbook for Baby Weedley. <laughs> and she always giggles when I say that, but. You know, she won't tell me the name, so that's what you get. Um, <laughs> she's been making, she just started making a scrapbook, and I love what she's doing. She wrote letters to the baby telling her about how Jared and Haley met and fell in love and also what's going on in the world right now with the whole virus and she's off work and everybody's worried and everybody's stuck at home and it's just kind of a history of what's taking place right now and that's going to go in her scrapbook album what a great gift right to be able to look back at what was happening when I was born is pretty cool I think it's going to be really neat and if I know her it's going to be absolutely perfect and Pinterest worthy I might add <laughs> okay, so I think I'm ready to flip the camera around. So hang tight, and Haley, you can say hi because I'm gonna I'm gonna nail you with the camera. There she is, folks. Oh, I probably shouldn't show people my credit card. <laughs> I have all kinds of stuff hanging here, but yeah. So there you go. There's the baby. There's my grandbaby. 
Okay, here we go. I know, you know, I have my credit card on a piece of paper hanging on my wall and yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I don't I don't think anybody saw it. I don't think I get that close to it. <laughs> and I know if you guys are watching me, you're pretty nice. Yeah. And you don't have the security code, so. Yeah, and you don't have the security code, so. Good luck with all that. Oops, hang on, I'm dropping things. Ugh. Okay, so. We're going to be using the Timeless Tulips bundle of products. And <laughs> Beth said her husband just walked by my screen and said, is she wearing a tiara? <laughs> <laughs> so I just heard from somebody today that follows me and me and Haley, I read it to Haley. We were giggling and giggling. She said this, this, um, online friend said that she watches me so much that her husband now recognizes my voice. When he walks by her stamping room, he will say, hi, Kelly Atchison from Menasha, Wisconsin, <laughs> because he's heard me so many times. What else did she say on there? Um... Oh, oh, you know what? It was, um, it was, hang on. La, 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 la. It was Karen. Oh, no, it wasn't Karen. Where is my, oh, darn it, you guys. I can't find it right at the moment, but it was my top ten list. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I've got it here someplace. I know I kept it. Anywho, it was really funny because her husband was like, hi, Kelly Etchison from Menasha, Wisconsin, because she's always playing me. And, oh, I know, the funny thing about that top ten list that she made me, she, the, the way it came about is her husband, she's, she's watched a lot of YouTube videos, but her husband said, what is it about her that makes you keep coming back to her? And that's when she said, well, there's not just one thing. I, like, would have to make a top ten list. So that's where the top ten list came from. And Haley and I got the biggest kick out of that. We thought it was so funny. So anyways, thank you for sharing that with us because it kind of made our day. We were giggling and carrying on and it was just cute. All right, so I'm going to tell you that here is my host code and I don't, I'll probably carry this host code through a few days into April. So this is not a monthly code, it's just a code for whenever I change it. If anybody needs to place an order to get some of these products that I'm going to show you or to get your last celebration order in, if you use this code, you only want to do it when your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, do not use my code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have them. And then if anybody has any questions about where do I find your online store, right here, you go to www.astampabove.com. In the right-hand column, the first thing is the online store button. So that's where it is. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. So I said that I would be sharing with you an easel card, and I am actually going to show you how to make the card that Wendy Sue sent to me. And we are going to be using Crushed Curry and Highland Heather ink. Haley, do you have my stamp cleaning pad? I have one of them. You have two. You're using one right oh, there, too. Sorry. She keeps taking my stamp cleaning pad. <laughs> you have three of them. I know, and I have none. <laughs> Okay, so I need four Highland Heather tulips. So I've just got some strips. Oh, this is these are strips. No, hang on. These are strips for something else. Let me grab another piece of paper here. Here we go. So I, I need four Highland Heather. These are the little tulips. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. And then we're going to clean. And we're going to do, whoops, I just stuck my finger in. Hey, did you guys notice I lost another nail? So I've only got four left now. I'm trying to get them off. I have not soaked my fingers in acetone because that's really harsh and I don't want to do it. I've, I've done that before and it's nasty. So I just keep, they, they'll, they'll eventually, I'll be able to pry it off. But yeah, so, you know, my nails. I hope nobody yells at me because I'm talking about my nails. If you guys watch me, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, I've got three crushed curry and four Highland Heather baby tulips. Now, this punch punches out the big tulip, not the little tulips. So, 
I took my scissors and I just left a white margin around the outside of these tulips. This was the easiest way I found to cut these out, and they really are quite simple to cut out. But I just left a white margin, and Wendy Sue did this too, and we're making her card today. So just leave, oh, that doesn't look very good. There we go. Um, you're just going to cut these out, and I like to kind of just cut the top off like that, and then come in here and do the little zigzags really easily. Am I in your way, honey? No, I just can't find the white string. Oh, it's down there. It's in that little bin down there. She's learning where everything is in my office. It's been a long time since she's been in here, except for most recently, you know? So you're going to cut all of these tulips out. All of these. I didn't say this card was going to be quick. <laughs> Just so we're clear. And, of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done that. Next, what you're going to need is we're going to need some big tulips. Whoops. I'm just going to move those over there. So I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to do four purple ones. And, again, these are the big ones. So I've got one. Oh, my gosh. I just love these images. They're so gorgeous. Ah, Carol just said your daughter is so pretty. She is, isn't she? Yeah. I'm with you. I am not going to. Yep, she is. <laughs> and Haley's over there going. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling, she said. Thank you, darling. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four purple ones. And we're going to do five crushed curry. Two, and these strips are just going to make it easier for me to punch. Three, four, five. Now, I decided to make this as a Mother's Day card. And I think that my mama is going to love it. Because this is definitely worthy of a Mother's Day card I would make for my mom. Because you know the cards that I send to her are pretty, pretty, pretty special. She keeps them all, by the way, too. <laughs> she has a box. Haley's giggling because she knows that Grandma does that. Okay, there goes number one. And number two. So today, you guys, I was typing up my tutorial for the Stamping Society. This is the private tutorial that will be available when you place an order with me on April 1st. Or if you could buy it too. But I um, was typing up my Stamping T Society tutorial. And this is a global collaboration. So there's only one person from each country that Stampin' Up! is in, in this design team. I'm from the U.S. Then we have somebody in Canada. And we have somebody in you know, New Zealand. And somebody in Australia. And all the countries. But because of that, I have to convert my inches over to centimeters and can I just tell you I do not understand how the conversions that I give them could possibly work like I don't get how you could ever measure and get it right but anyways I was doing my mad inch to centimeter conversions today and don't worry that it wasn't math you just put it into a website and it tells you <laughs> so to do much it was just you know it's kind of annoying because I don't understand it but I'm glad they do that because if I was getting a tutorial and it was all in centimeters and there was no inches I wouldn't be very happy about that at all right so I totally am grateful I guess that's what I need to say okay so here's all our big tulips here's all our baby tulips now this is a lot of tulips so you're not you just don't want to make this card for just anybody okay it has to be somebody pretty darn special. That's what I have to say about it. Now, Wink Estella, here she comes. I love me I some Wink Estella. Haley. Yeah, Haley just found Wink Estella since she's been helping me out. And um, it's been kind of cute because she's been like, oh my lord, what did you say about Wink Estella? It's like my new thing. It's like her new thing, the Wink of Stella. So I gotta look at this a little bit. Okay, so. I'm just going to put Wink of Stella around. Well, I'm going to do all the yellow ones first. So here's what I know about Wink of Stella. Sometimes the solution in here may um, cause the color to bleed just a touch, which is fine because, you know, you're just yellow on yellow. doesn't matter. So 
what I'm the reason why I'm telling you this is I want you to stick with all of your yellows and then do all of your purples or whatever color combination you decide to come up with. I think that's just a good practice with the Wink of Stella. And I know you can't really see this, but it's pretty beautiful. It really sparkles in the light. And I'm just outlining each flower. Oh, Kim said it was Mother's Day in the UK last Sunday. Well, happy Mother's Day to all the UK moms. What a crappy way to spend it, huh? Locked in your house. Okay, so I'm just going to do that a little bit. I see that there was no yellow on here, but you just never know. Now I'm going to come in and do my purple flowers. And just add some pretty Wink of Stella. And if you want to, you can come down this line right here. That would probably be cool looking too. There's a line right there. Now I know sometimes you can't see this very good in a Facebook Live because the streaming isn't really very high quality. But you guys can always find my um, all of these projects on my blog. Again, right here. I always put still photos on my blog so that you can go there and look at some really nice pictures and see all the detail with all of these cards versus this video that sometimes it's fine, but other times it's kind of really crummy quality. So I'm just, you know, just going to put a little bit right there on that little petal thing too. Here's my purples right here on that edge. I think that'll be pretty. And oh, I think I have two more left. And this one. There we go. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay, are we ready? This is a big deal. All right, we're done with that. I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers now. So, um, oh, that was just a stamp on. I've got crushed curry here and this is four and a quarter by 11 it's scored in half at five and a half so we're just going to do that and then I've scored it again at two and three quarters that's just half of the front and you're just going to fold that under okay so this is what we have just like that fold it under fold it back out okay that's what we've got right now now this one, this layer, is just a card front. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And we are going to take one of these white layers and add it to the front. Now, I have something exciting to share with you. I am opening up a brand new bottle of glue. And we all know how exciting that is. It's like order, it's like opening up a brand new ink pad. Like it just makes you happy. Like a brand new Versamark ink pad. When it's new and you haven't gotten ink all over it, it's just so pretty. Brand new glue. And Lisa is on my team. She's watching tonight. She had suggested that I put a label on it with the date because I want to see how long a bottle of liquid glue will last me because I can never remember. 3.30? Now we're going to know. When I run out of this, that's going to be the end. See this bottle right here that I've been like keep shaking and doing all the things with in the trash. Bye bye empty bottle and hello new glue. Everybody loves new glue. Okay so here comes our four by five and a quarter. This is just a little card front. The piece under it is actually a quarter sheet. Five okay five and a no let's start over. Four and a quarter, five and a half. This is actually a full quarter sheet of cardstock. And then this is a card front, four by five and a quarter. Okay, now, the deal with, hang on, I'm looking here. Um, oh, oh, shoot, darn it, hang on. I need to stamp some things. And I could have actually left this together, but I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no! Nah! Okay, so we're just going to get rid of this. Actually... Oh no, we can still salvage this. So I'm just going to rip off all these extra... There, that'll be good. Okay, so this we cannot salvage. So we'll try that again. Let me grab a card front. i got to make sure... Do you have my paper cutter? I do. Okay. Thank you. 
All right, so take a drink. A little intermission. <laughs> Here comes my five by four and a quarter again. Whew. We have to stamp some stems on here, people. I got a little carried away. So that's why the old olive is out here. So I'm just going to take, and I don't know, you don't really see much of them, so it's not really that big of a deal, but I'm just going to take and stamp some stems down in here just so nobody thinks that these flowers are coming from no place. And then we've got these, whoops, where's my leaf? Oops, hang on, oh, here it is. We've got these pretty little leaves and I'm just gonna stamp some things here just so there's some greenery in case it peeks out from under the white. Okay, because I noticed that that was what Wendy Sue did. Then on our inside layer, which is just another piece of white, same size, we are going to stamp some stems. Where did my stem go? Right here. I'm going to stamp some stems and I'm just going to stamp maybe a couple stems. There's one, here's two, and then maybe some leaves. Just like that. Then I'll turn it around so it doesn't look like it's absolutely the same leaf. And we'll just put that one right over here. And maybe we'll grab this little skinny one and put it right in there. That looks really nice. Okay, so here's the deal. Let me grab some dimensionals and a spoon, perhaps. I don't know. That just stuck to me. Um, I'm going to grab, we have our big tulips and our little tulips. So let me get those. I shouldn't have pushed them all together. That was dumb. Keep your tulips sorted. This is what we need to do. Here we go. Little, big, little, big. Here's some more. Oh, I got quite a mess going here. And we got one more big one and some little ones. All right, so we're going to take one of these yellow ones. We're going to mount a yellow one and is there, yeah, there's Wink Stella on there. I just was curious. It looked like there wasn't. We're going to mount these on dimensionals. And before I do that, we got a little bit of stamping to do. Remember I said I wanted this to be a happy Mother's Day. So I'm going to take my Highland Heather, and we're going to pray that I can stamp this straight. And I did it. Winning! Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. I am missing a lot of comments here, you guys. I'm so sorry. But I have to stay focused. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a little tulip here. And this other tulip is going to go right close next to it. I just tilted it a little bit like that. Okay. This is actually going to get mounted right inside of our card base. Oh, this glue comes out so nice. It's beautiful. Keep your fingers out of the ink. I see I just got a smudge there, but don't worry. I think I can get it off with my sand eraser. Here we go. Okay. Next, we're going to take this front layer. Where did that crummy layer of cardstock go? Did I... Oh, it fell under my desk. Here it is. It was way under, it was on the floor. All right, now we're going to come in here and we are going to start making our bouquet. And I'm going to use glue, a brand new glue. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> now you want to make sure that you don't go off your card too much. You don't want to be so have your tulips sticking out so far that they won't fit in an envelope, right? You need this to fit in an envelope. And I'm just going to put this like this. And then I think we're going to do a purple. And we're going to do it kind of just like, uh, like this. And a yellow. Gosh, I hope this works out. <laughs> if not, 
I'll just show you Wendy Sue's. <laughs> Don't worry. Now I've got these sticking out over the edge just a touch because this layer, this layer is bigger, right? So it's still going to be within the card front so we can still fit it in an envelope. So don't worry about that. And that reminds me, I didn't even get out an envelope. All right, then we're going to go with another one here. Wendy was like a really good flower arranger because this is a little tricky. I didn't, ex I didn't really think about it, but yeah, it's like, oh, now what? And then we're going to do one right here, just like that. And another one up here. Can go over a little bit, but not too far. Okay, now we're going to put dimensionals on three purple ones. Hang on. Three purple ones. And I'm running out of dimensionals. Gosh, we might have to get out a new sheet of dimensionals. It's going to be just a night of new stuff. It's going to make me very happy. I love new stuff. Okay, so there's three of those. And so, and then we need two yellow ones. Those need to have some dimensionals on them. One, two, ooh, look at that, uh, that's weird. That didn't work good. <laughs> Haley is over there making her scrapbook page and she goes, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> she sounds like me when I'm stamping by myself because I do that all the time. Okay, now, here's what we're gonna do. Now you gotta just arrange these any way you can, but if you wanna go back and watch this video to see how I'm doing it, cause I'm doing it like I think Wendy Sue did it. Okay, and then I need a purple one again. Here's a purple one, and I'm gonna just kinda put this right in here. Okay, and then we get two yellow ones. Oh, that's a purple one, hang on two yellow ones come in here here's a little these are these are the little ones now these are the baby ones here comes a yellow one here comes another yellow one and I'm gonna put that right here and then did we not did we not punch out enough to we maybe we didn't okay so one maybe, right there. huh a baby one up there. Yeah, I got a baby one there. Oh yeah, that's a purple one. That goes right here. Okay, thanks. All right, then we're going to come in here and I am going to take a yellow one and I'm going to put it like right here. Yep, that looks exactly like what Wendy Sue did. Um, hang on, I'm going to get some dimensional pieces here. I don't think this one has to go on a dimensional, like I could glue it in place, but I think I can make the dimensional work and not get in the way. I don't want double dimensional height on here. So I'm just going to put my dimensional down here at the bottom, and I'm going to put this like right in here. Okay, so it's just hitting the paper. It's not hitting the rest of these flowers. And then here comes another purple one and we're going to put this right in here. Oh, something just doesn't really look right with this. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to keep going though. We're going to make it work. So don't panic. I'm going to put this right in here. Just putting a piece of dimensional in there. We're going to add, oh yeah, this is how she has hers. Okay. So I didn't space these close enough over here. That's, I think, what my problem was. So now I'm just going to add some more tulips until this is just filled up. That's what I'm going to do. So I think I need one probably right in here. And I'm just going to put a dimensional on there. You could or wouldn't have to if you didn't want to, I guess. Put one right down in here. And then I think I need some little ones in here. Oh Lord, Wendy Sue, I bow down to you. Oh, I have these, these are stamps. So now we get to chat while I cut.
<laughs> See, that's why I wanted to have all this stuff cut out before. But now we have a chance to chat. And while I can't watch you, because quite frankly, it's hard enough to cut things out without reading. What are you guys drinking tonight? Did you have supper yet? So I had supper. And here, this is funny. And oh my lord, I have no reason to whine. But you know, I made that baked haddock for supper Saturday night and there's quite a bit of it left over so today a little while ago I went in the kitchen and I'm like ooh, I'm like excited because I'm gonna have some leftover baked haddock and then Steve still has some of the carrots he cooked yesterday and shared with me so I'm gonna have baked haddock and carrots and I'm kind of excited about that and I walk in the kitchen he's making spaghetti and he tells me it's almost done and so now I know, you guys know what I, where I'm going with this? I have to eat spaghetti. Like, there's no way I'm going to eat a haddock when he just, like, said, I just made spaghetti and it's almost done. You know I have to eat the haddock. Or the spaghetti, right? Okay, so, okay, so that works. I think I just need one more flower right there. And I think we'll do, I don't know if I like that one. I think I want a yellow one there. So, we get to talk some more. Um, so yeah, I had to eat spaghetti and oh, poor me. It was really good. He added fresh tomatoes to it and mushrooms and half of it was spaghetti sauce that his son had made from scratch from, he, um, does organic farming. So it was organic spaghetti sauce made from scratch, but some of it wasn't. And I didn't ask a lot of questions about that. <laughs> I think that he bought a jar of sauce at the store and then mixed it with the stuff that he had from his son. <laughs> but then he added fresh tomatoes and what else did I say? Mushrooms. It was really good. It was delicious. But I really wanted haddock. I know. I, I, I can't complain. You know how when you like, you know how when somebody says to you like, what do you feel like eating? Well, that's the thing. I felt like eating haddock. Oh my Lord. Can I show everybody? This is one of the pictures for Haley's scrapbook page. Look how cute that is. This is them too. They worked at the YMCA. Um, what is it called? Uh, the day camp program. Day camp program. They were both camp counselors. That's how they met. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? I love it. Good job, Haley. I can't wait to see her scrapbook when it's done. Okay, so the yellow one. I got the yellow one here. And let's put let's put a dimensional right here because that way I know it won't interfere. I just feel like this is gonna look better with a yellow one. Was I right? I think I was right. So Wendy Sue, apparently I am not a flower arranger. <laughs> Because yours looks better than mine, but you get the drift, right? Now, the only other thing that I'm going to do maybe... Okay, we can still do this. Wendy had some purple ribbon on her card. I don't have that purple ribbon, but I do have this purple ribbon. And this is our tri-color ribbon. And it's just called purple tri-color ribbon. I think we still sell this. Gosh, I hope so. I might have um, glued my... Yeah, I... I was going to put this down here, but now I'm not because it's not going to fit. Put it on before you do this. Oh my Lord, have I jacked this whole thing up? We're going to be, fi we're going to be fine. Don't worry. It's going to be beautiful. Here we go. Now, you're just going to take this panel and put it on your quarter sheet of cardstock. Remember, this is five and a half by four and a quarter. Look how pretty that is. And it's like glimmery from the Wink of Stella. You probably can't see that. Oh, I didn't put any on there, you guys. Did you tell me? Hey, Kelly, don't forget your Wink of Stella on these ones, too. I'm going to do it on here. Oh, I think that one's done. I think this one isn't, though. What about that one? We'll just put a little bit on there. Let me see. Oh, yeah, everything's winking at me. All right, this is it. Now. This is our card, right? And we scored it right here in the middle. Now you're gonna take just this part and you're gonna put glue on it. There we go. We're gonna close our card. You're going to put this right on the top of the card. This is the whole card front. But we only put glue from here down. Remember that, only glue from here down 
And this, my friends, is an easel card. Look at my mom's happy Mother's Day. Isn't that beautiful? I have all this room to tell her how wonderful she is. This would make a gorgeous birthday card. You know what? I think I am going to put some ribbon on it. Let's see if I can tie a bow. I know I can. I'm going to tie a really little bow. We'll see what it looks like, whether I like it or not. And it's this pretty. I really wanted to use this ribbon because it's pretty. Oh, yeah. I think this will work. My grandma used that was Purple was her favorite color, so it's too bad that she's not still around because I'd make one of these for her, too. She's passed away a few years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. I think this one's just a little bit too long. I think I got glue on my scissors. What do you guys think? They're sharp. Don't. Don't worry about that, but I think I get some glue on them. Okay, so I think, uh, yep, that's going to be it, isn't it? That's going to do the trick. Hang on, i got to take my coat off. Hot flash. Haley's been laughing at me all day because I had this face heater on under my desk almost all day. I was super duper cold, and now I'm stripping. <gasps> Look at, can I show, hang on, I'll show you the pages she just made. She just finished one of them. The other one isn't done, right? Yep, I just have to do my cut out that title for here. Look at that. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Ah, easel card. Okay, so Wendy's got, like, she put some orange in here, too, and I think she might have used a dauber around the bottoms, maybe Rich Razzleberry here, and, um, I don't know, Calypso or Terracotta, something, but you can see that the edges of her tulips are a little darker. If Wendy's on here, maybe she can tell us. Mine is a little less spectacular than hers. Oh, hang on. We almost forgot something. Where's the glitter dots? Here they are. Glitter dots. We can't forget that. Um, we're going to put some of those on. Wendy used those, and this, this is the perfect time to glam this up. We need just a little bit of bling going on here. There we go. And always in odd numbers, we're going to put one right over there. And we're done. Ta-da! Beautiful. Now, these two little tulips are what hold your easel in place. Okay? So when somebody gets this, they're going to open it up and it's going to be like, oh, and they're going to go, whoa, what's going on here? And lots of times people will, by accident, just like I did, because I didn't know that Wendy's card was an easel card until I went to display it, and then I realized that it bent like that, right? So then it displays like this. It sits up on the table. It's so, so pretty. Hang on. I got to go to my computer. I got people messaging me on Instant Messenger that keeps blocking my screen. <laughs> Nothing against those people. They don't know. So there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Haley. I'm going to turn the camera around, oh, and I'll let, show. you just want me to show? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here is her page. Let me see. How does this look on the screen? Like, I know it's going to take up a lot of space. Here is her Jared and Haley page, and this is how mom and dad met. She's got some more work to do up here, so I'll make sure if her album is still here, I'll show it to you guys when it's done. But I love all these little banners over here. What was this paper called? Um, it is called Woven Threads. This is the Woven Threads Designer Series paper. It's in the catalog right now. And then here is the page where I showed you this little element right here. And then these are all the things that they did together when they were dating. They went skiing. They were Where's Waldo for Halloween. Here they're on a roller coaster, ice skating in Chicago, bear hunting, deer hunting. Oh, my goodness. They coached a soccer team together. They're big Cubs fans. Here they are bow hunting at the lake on a boat, snowboarding. Oh, I already said that. With family. Yeah, so... All kinds of super fun stuff. I love this. This is this is such a cute picture, isn't it? This is my favorite picture. I love the Where's Waldo because they just look like twins, right? <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Haley. I can't wait to see more. And maybe at some point, you guys, I'm going to flip you around now. Maybe at some point I will read you her letters because they had me almost in tears today. They're so, so sweet. Like her letters to the baby, um, they're written in third person. So it's like they're telling a story about the baby's mom and dad. And Haley's a really, really good writer. So um, they're really um, sweet and touching. And I thought, gosh, what an amazing gift, right? This baby is going to have. Yeah, well, once the baby's born, we'll see how far the album goes. <laughs> She's giggling. Because <laughs> we all know how that goes. Everybody's saying, way to go, Haley. The pages are beautiful. Thank you, guys. Thank you. She is. She's like pouring her heart and soul into it. And she's been doing a fabulous job designing cards for me. And that's been super helpful because I have all these online classes and tutorials. Um... The beginning end of a month is usually a pretty crazy time where I have a whole bunch of stuff coming due that you guys never see until it gets spread out over uh, the next month. But it's usually all due like bam at once. And I'm like, oh my lord, I don't know what I would have done without her help. I would have gotten even less sleep than I did. But I still love it. And I'd still rather do this than walk into anybody else's office and be under their thumb. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so... Um, we've got a couple card ideas from cards that I got in the mail today to make for our next Facebook Live. And I don't know what I'll do, but I'll figure something out. Maybe I won't do those yet. Maybe I've got some other things over here that I kind of plan, but I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, quick question. Joe says, what do you do with all the cards you make from these videos? Most of the time, Joe, I send them out as thank you gifts or thank you cards for my orders. I send them as thank yous for orders. I also send them to my team um, from time to time. I don't send a lot of cards out to my team, and I'm probably a little neglectful in that area, but I provide them with a whole bunch of other stuff. Like we have a team blog, and I do a question and answer every Tuesday, and we have challenges, and I do Facebook live meetings and I give away lots of door prizes and we have recognition so um, but I do send cards out to them once in a while I should be better about that but mostly I use them for customers I use all these cards for customers and bye honey love you, love you too. thanks for coming over this is the only place Haley's gone <laughs> since this whole thing started is just here so Steve and I have been pretty much locking ourselves down um, almost exclusively exclusively and not leaving the house so that was a good question Jill but mostly I use them for thank you cards for my orders um, I send out prizes every week I've been sending out a lot more prizes since I've been doing this Facebook live every day so I send them with that and then I buy photo boxes from Hobby Lobby and they're they look like a shoe box but they fit cards in perfectly I will take my cards and I will have somebody sort them and I will put 70 cards and envelopes in one of those photo boxes and I keep those so that when people ask me to donate for some type of a fundraiser, I will donate boxes with 70 cards and envelopes in them. And people fight over them at the fundraisers like they love them. Don't kid yourself. If you don't think that your cards that you're making have value, you are very wrong. People fight over them like crazy. I don't know if you guys remember this, if you've been following me this long, but a few years ago, um, my wonderful stepdaughter, Stephanie, her husband was killed in a tragic accident. And so they had some fundraisers for her family. And I was actually at the fundraisers, right? And I got to see people fighting over these boxes of cards because I donated a whole bunch of them. And they raised so much money for those fundraisers. So they are very valuable. People understand homemade cards are just a gift in themselves. So people really get that. So, <laughs> Chris, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you asked, though. But that's a really good idea. If you guys find that you have tons and tons of cards and you're like, oh, my Lord, I don't even know what to do with these box them up like I will take um I will take sometimes I'll separate them out like here's birthday here's get well here's wedding here's sympathy here's all occasion but other times I just grab 
10 cards, 10 envelopes, 10 cards, 10 envelopes. And I just put them in the box like that. 70 cards and envelope in one box. I've got five boxes sitting upstairs right now waiting for the next person. The last person that asked for cards for um, a charity event was one of Haley's old classmates. And she was on the committee for the basketball team reunion game. They have one every year at Menasha High School. And all the way old basketball, girls basketball players and the basketball teams that have just graduated or are still in high school and playing, they get together and they, and they raise money. And they play basketball games like a tournament all day long. And her friend Zoe came over or she, she messaged me, hey... I'm looking for a donation to raise money for our basketball tournament. I'm like, yep, come on over. I got a box of cards you can have. And they really love them. So, yeah. Um, what did you just say? I read that Hobby Lobby would not close. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not going to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> because that's not good. That's not a good place to be. If I have to go any place, it's going to be the grocery store. And that's about it. Um, I, I did, however, go to the drive through and get popcorn. Yeah, and I did go into the um, groceries. No, I was in the gas station. Nobody was there. And I got the Sour Patches so I could watch the movie <laughs> with the popcorn. <laughs> but nobody was there. So I, I think I was being pretty good. I noticed last night when I did my Facebook Live, I wasn't even thinking about it, but I was touching my face all the time. That's really hard not to do, right? Like I rubbed my nose and I scratched my face and then you got a little itch on your eye or whatever. We touch our face a lot, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, do you ever keep cards for yourself? Oh, yeah, Jill. I have one, two, three, four photo boxes that are lined on the basement shelf where you open the door to go to the basement. They're all right there, easy access. And I grab those to um, send out to family and friends when I need cards, so yes. And when did, was it Wendy just asked, popcorn, drive through where? Tom's drive-in. It's like a Culver's, but it's a local chain, and they have the best popcorn, like Dairy Queen popcorn, if you've ever had that. It's just delicious. I went there and got a bag of popcorn, and yes, I could have popped my own popcorn, but it's not as good. This Jiffy stuff will be pretty good, though, so thanks. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> oh, hi, Doreen from Berlin in Germany. What time is it there? I'm thinking that it's pretty early morning, huh? Like you're an early riser? Yeah. Um, Helen says she makes birthday cards, cards for all her co-workers in her department, right? It's a really good thing to do. Oh, Jackie says her DQ doesn't have popcorn. Ours does, and it's delicious. Oh, and you're welcome. Thanks for asking the questions, Joe. Did I miss anybody else's questions? Because I wasn't paying attention. You saw. This was a lot of work. Like I said, I'm not making this card for just anybody. And I'm feeling pretty special that Wendy Sue sent me a card like this, right? It wasn't that bad. But it was, you know, that's a lot to figure out. Hers is prettier than mine. But my mom will never know. <laughs> I'm not going to show her Wendy Sue's card. <laughs> All she's going to see is mine. And she'll think it's spectacular. <laughs> yeah, I could go for some ice cream. You know what I did? Last weekend I made brownies. Maybe I told you guys this. I don't remember. But I put um, I put an extra bag of walnuts in them. And they were chocolate chunk brownies. And, you know, you make a little square pan. And because there was chocolate chunks in them, when I put the toothpick in to see if they were done, I, kept, I, I thought I kept hitting like a piece of chocolate that was melted. Well, lo and behold, I took them out of the oven and set them on the counter. I go back in there an hour later and there's like a spot in my like 8x8 eight eight brownies like this that isn't cooked all the way. Just finished those today. I cut that middle part out and threw it away, but I was so disappointed. So I don't have a lot of personal hygiene to share with you today because, you know, I've been like, well, I was in the shower this morning and I was thinking about shaving my legs or tweezing my eyebrows or a little hair that grows out of my chin. I didn't take a shower today. It's the first time in a long time. And you know what? I'm good with it. I had to get up really early, and I really wanted to take a nap, but it's kind of late for a nap. Jeez, it's almost 6 o'clock. Well, it's 5.30 for Pete's sakes. Yeah, so I don't have any weird things to tell you from my shower, because that's where I think a lot. 
<laughs> it sounds like I stand in the shower for like an hour. I don't. I'm in and out of there. I got no time for none of that. I wish I didn't even have to shower. It's such a waste of my time. I hate doing makeup. I hate doing hair. I hate all of it. I hate getting my nails done. I just hate it. It's the biggest waste of my life. <laughs> but it's a necessary evil. Yeah. I like nice nails. All right. I'm going to, I'm watching your, your comments come in. Yeah, you guys, hit that share button if you could. That really helps me out. It helps me grow my business. It gets my videos out to more people. I get more people watching me. I hope they're placing orders. Um, I have online classes coming out. We're going to have some new classes coming really quick. My kit class is going to go live on Friday. Um, you'll get all the details about it and I'll also have a video using that suite and making some other projects that you can see. So um, I've got that. I'll try to get my um, online class for the month live too with the Ornate Garden. Um, just so you can, you can order it if you want to right away on April 1st because I know there's a lot of people on April 1st that want to order. And I won't have the video and stuff up for that until probably... April, la, 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 la. let me look at my little calendar, probably April 10th or 17th, it'll be later in the month, anyways, so, you guys have yourselves a wonderful Monday, we made it to almost 6 o'clock on Monday, right, we're doing good, I know we're stuck inside for another 30 days, but just keep your eye on the pie at the end of the rainbow, well, this isn't a rainbow, at the end of the storm. The storm will end at some point. That's what I've got my mind on is that when this is over, things are going to happen. <laughs> I'm going shopping and out to eat lunch. I probably won't come home for several days. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have yourselves a wonderful Monday. I don't know when I'll be back tomorrow. Yes, Luba, you need to make the tulip card. It's really, really cool. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. She says, I just found you. Watch the replay. We made this beautiful card. This is Wendy Sue's easel card that I just fell in love with. And you'll get to see how not to screw it up. I always teach on that, too. Somebody said they think that I do that on purpose. Sure. <laughs> I like your thinking. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a great night. Bye-bye.